please introduce yourself to me, tell me your names, and just, uh, yeah, just give an introduction of who you are. Okay, go. Hi, I'm Sherilyn Buta Lowe, um, co owner of Brickwall Gallery, living in Hopefield, very happy here, and I've been a professional artist for 16 years. Uh, my name is Buta Lowe, I'm also an artist. I've uh, been painting my whole life, uh, me and my brother as little kids, you know, been in the art thing and the drawing and so on. And uh, me and my wife, we, we've we been living in Hopefield for uh, about four years now and uh, we've been, we opened this gallery, but that's her, she'll tell you all about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Let's start with uh, where did you live before we came here? Okay, we, we lived in uh, Port Elizabeth before we came here and uh, uh, I met Sherry, my wife over there, she was, she's been living there, she lived there for over 20 years and uh, before that I was in Germany for 10 years and uh, that's where we met. We uh, went to a wedding here in the Western Cape, a friend's friend of mine and uh, we fell in love with the Western Cape and then we moved and we decided we we're going to move, sell everything, move to the Western Cape. And then we, now we're in Hopefield. 13 years, 13 years. <laughs> together for 15. And, uh, and you're still very much in love. Extremely. <laughs> I adore this man and I adore his talent. <laughs> so you, Our biggest fan. <laughs> you, you made a, a strong psychological connection and it's, uh, it's lasting. It's a lasting connection. Yes. You, are, you are a jealous person, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, both artists. Yes. God, what better combination can you find than that, you know? Yeah. Well, and uh, if not we both respect agree. each other's abilities as artists. Yes. She does uh, things I can't do and, and that's fine, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the way I like yeah. it. Yeah. You have to get to know the people. You have to log in with the community. That's important. Uh, we do community trading once a month. We we take the gallery stuff there and actually sit there and get the people to come visit us. Um, you just have to love this place. It is a place of extremes weather-wise. It gets extremely cold in the, win uh, in the winter and extremely hot in summer. But uh, we love the people here. Once you get to know the people, they really, they're lovely. Jacques in particular from the hotel from which we're renting here. He's a lovely person. He's at the hotel for 14 years. And uh, so he's an old hope fielder as such. So yes, it's just, it's really great for us to be here. We've had people walk in here and say, what a precious little gem, because they don't expect it from Hopefield. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't expect it to be so green. I imagine like a, oh, yeah. a, 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 like a cowboy movie down. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain, unexpectedly, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not supposed to have uh, a lot of rain in <clears throat> summer, but already started raining in summer, so our flowers will be earlier this year. And then we have a lot of local talent here, like um, um, Tyron Hosseister. He works, he's uh, a blockman at the uh, spa, but we exhibit his scrap metal art, yeah, and he calls his brain his computer. Very mm -hmm. humble, extremely humble person, lovely, lovely, beautiful people. So you have quite a couple of gems in Hopefield. Mm -hmm. How often do you go to Cape Town? Uh, when I, only when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the traffic. We're not used uh, to the traffic. Uh, but no, when we have to no. go and get supplies, that's yeah, when we yeah, go. And I've got family in, yeah. in Cape Town, so... When we moved to, just before we moved to Hopefield, we met Dirki. Now she lives across from the church and her husband is passion for wood. Billy, so they, right? yeah, Billy. So they both ex, um, what do you call them? Teachers, mm -hmm. ex teachers. And uh, so we exhibited all our art there. And then she, um, about, I think she was going for about two years and then she decided, or two, three years, she decided she doesn't want to do it anymore. And uh, she told me that she's closing. So I went to Jacques and I said to him, Turkey's closing. He said, really? I said, yes. This space was open, but there was a deli just before. And then I said to him, is it possible that we could maybe open an art gallery here? Because we were, st we were now left with about 30 art paintings between the two of us. Where do we go with them? And then he said, he'll let me know the next day. He let me know and he said, yes, it's a go ahead. And that's how mm -hmm. it started. We have a lot of people from overseas. 
strangely enough, and a lot of people from Cape Town, which we really appreciate. Mm -hmm. So people, basically the people that come here, the ones that really want to explore the, mm, the, yes. the uh, little towns, let's say, They're not the, the normal places you go to. So, yeah. We had a very interesting visit last Saturday. So husband, wife and three little girls came to visit and they were busy with a curriculum, Footprints on the Land. And uh, they took out a book that a woman wrote um, daily, with surnames daily, and she wrote about Hopefield. So they came to explore Hopefield. That was so awesome. That was, to me, that's fantastic. Um, I think we need more of that to actually, to, to branch out from, the, from your main cities and actually get to the Platteland. So you can actually see what's happening there. Now there's all these little gems along the road. We've got Miniland, Maggie with Miniland. She does all your miniature stuff and she's got a vast supply of wool. So if you need to knit or crochet, go to Maggie. And we've got about 16 art aesthetic exhibits here. That's local. If I say local, it's uh, West Coast, West. Yes. Yeah, Langebaan, Vredenburg, Veldruf. Veldruf, mm. Azerfontein, yes. Mm -hmm. I do pouring, acrylic pouring. He does oils. Uh, then we have scrap metal artists. We've got... Uh, sorry, I'm... Pewter. Gonna... We've got pewter. Cyan yes, we've got pewter. Cyanotype. Cyanotype. That is a local yeah, artist yeah. here that does cyanotype. I specialize in oil painting. Yeah. I give uh, drawing classes as well. Acrylic, of course. Um, charcoal. Uh, charcoal. I basically start the people out with acrylic and then take them to oils and so on if they want to, if they want to go to the oils. Um, that's oil smart thing, you know. I've been doing it many, many years. <laughs> is there something about oil that attracts you? Oil is... Uh, I like the... The, the quality, the pigment quality is, is, is a lot more intense than acrylic paint. And of course, because it takes so long to dry, you can really push the one tone, the one pigment, let's put it that, into the other one. And, uh, and um, create awesome stuff, you know. You don't, you can, you don't, you're not rushed to, to do blending or whatever. You can take your time and then build it up from there, yeah. Acrylic pouring is, I think it started overseas. And then the biggest thing was to actually get the products to do have the same effect on the paints in South Africa because we don't have the products that comes from overseas. So I've been doing it for more than four years and I have figured out all the secrets of how to get, to get the effect of actually it looks like it's oil that's running, that type of thing. Uh, but just to do acrylic pouring, anybody can do that. Any housewife can do acrylic pouring and I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying that I like to do acrylic pouring but put a realistic fat to it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah to to add to it so it's not just it must, so, it must tell a story uh, there's actually a story behind it yes so the process is not that quite that simple so the the paints that i use a shop art it's from cape town but they're also a german-based um, company and they've been they've been producing these paints for years and it's extremely high quality paints so you use that and then you have a acrylic medium which is a pouring medium that you have to, sorry, I'm talking with my hands, but this is me, artist, uh, acrylic pouring medium that you have to add to the paint to get it to actually flow, but not lose its qualities. That's important because the minute it loses its qualities, it's going to separate and you won't have a good result. So you have to learn that. So you add your paints and I always say that mixing the paints is the, takes the longest. And then you pour it onto your canvas and you can then manipulate it. So you can use a hairdryer to push it. A lot of the seascapes you'll see is actually done with that. Or you could... As a straw. You can use a straw to blow it with. And spin um, it. You yeah. Can, yeah, then you can spin it. So it can actually... It, this flower is done with spinning. So that's actually... It just spreads it. So there are lots of interesting ways how to do it. And then you can embellish it afterwards. I like to use the acrylic pouring, which is the acrylics, and then use the acrylic inks to actually do the details of the realism. I like the kind of art but you're not so specific. It's magic. Mm. Right? Yes, exactly. yes, the magic exactly. happens by itself. Yeah, exactly. So you have some type of control. You have a measure of control, but not completely. And you cannot duplicate. You can even if you use exact same ingredients, the exact same method, you will not get this exact same result, which is exciting. 
I love seascapes. I love the sea, so I love seascapes. I love the movement of the waves. I, I totally adore that. And then I have a huge empathy for women. So I often do women faces. I appreciate where women's coming from. I'm not a feminist. It's just I, I adore women, uh, what they stand for, their role in a family. Um, so I love doing women's faces because of the expression. And every face tells a story, especially the eyes. Mm. So that's my favorite. Um, I like... Um, I like a lot of different things. I, I, I love portraits, um, boats, of course. Uh, um, at the moment, I'm doing little uh, cars, cars from the old Formula One cars from the 1920s, 40s, and tractors, love tractors. So that's uh, things I'm in now at the moment. Um, uh, it's very difficult, you know. If something's interesting and it's cool, I'll, I'll paint it, you know. If it tells a story, has a mood. It's gonna yeah, be there's mood, a mood. It, That's yeah. important. Yeah. There has to be a mood. It's got to be a mood. Yeah, yeah, because then it talks to you. Okay, why should people come drive there to to this town? Uh, they should come to Hopefield because it's interesting. Um, there's some beautiful people living here that they have to meet. We've got fantastic accommodation on this end. Mm. And the, mm. the silence, just get away from the rush. And yeah, you can actually breathe and just be yourself and maybe find yourself again. Well, our art is, is available online as well through Asa Fontaine Art Collective website. But then our art is also available in functional art. So printing, yes, we're so Print with Passion. Um, it's a company in Kempton Park. And they actually print our paintings onto bedding, onto um, mouse pads, mouse pads, pillows, yes, pillows. You name it. And they it. also print yeah. it in a, a smaller version on wood, so you mm. can hang it in your home. Mm. And the prices are very reasonable, and um, it is amazing for us to see it because um, a little mossy that Berta painted, I can now see on a fleece blanket, or I can order it and put it on my bed. It's amazing. To us, it's just absolutely amazing. Yeah, very exciting stuff. So. I saw the thing now, the Independent Art Collective in Cape Town, and we had one exhibition so far. And I hope one day I can ask you to join us for an exhibition in Cape Town. I'll definitely let you guys Yes, that'll be lovely. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I had my solo <laughs> exhibition I had in Cape Town. Great. Yeah. Then we have a big party. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> would love to. We're happy, okay, we, we happy that we are here in Hopefield. We're obviously here for a reason. The, the gallery is a platform for our local talent. We're very strict on that, that we are available for local talent. We're getting a guy in from Mariasburg that's going to do draad karikis. I don't know how to say that in English, but draad karikis and that type of thing. So we really want to encourage people to exhibit by us. Yeah, there's a, there's and a to lot get of, it out there. There's a, get a lot of out. artists that uh, um, they don't have a place to put their art, you know? Yes. And... Uh, and then they, they hear about us and then they're very excited and very motivated again to do to get more serious about the art. And uh, yeah. That's oh, something. we have to talk about Wally. Oh, with Wally. Yeah. Did you see Wally when you came in? Uh, did I see Wally? I don't so. <laughs> you were too eager to get inside. <laughs> I think I was Wally. <laughs> okay, so um, we have Hope, Hope Farm. Yeah, yeah, Hope Farm, yeah. We have Hope Farm in Hopefield. And um, they have about 27 men that's living there uh, in rehab. So uh, I asked, I went to Izette, which is in charge of them, and I asked her if they could please build me a box two meters high, which uh, they did. Within three days, I had my box, which was wonderful. We are in a little bit of an alcove, so people don't see us immediately. They see the hotel like first. The street, yeah. yeah, so we wanted to attract some attention. So we built the box, or they built the box, we put it up, and then Bota and I gave birth to Wally in wood. Yeah. So Wally it's also stands for... We started with one little bo a block. Yes. And, and then we started adding on, <laughs> little thing, ah, oh, looks like an arm, looks like a nose, yeah, let's pull, and then we... And then he became and almost became human. Bigger and bigger, and bigger yeah. But, and we painted it very colourful and... Yeah, to attract attention, yeah. and this is definitely, so uh, people come and stand, we, we can see them. 
through the window because we live next door. So they come and stand by Wally to have photographs taken. So it's becoming like an icon in, in town. And then what we also do, we take pictures of odd things that's in Hopefield and we'll put a little story with yeah. it and say Wally spotted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that is important. Yeah, you see. Yeah. We have a story. <laughs> 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 the thing is, uh, I'm going to, like I said, I have a complete at the moment uh, kind of amateur artist, but at some point I'm going to send you something, and at one stage when there's something that you, you think you can work for your gallery, I'd love to see it with you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, please do. Sure. Sure. Yes, sure. that would be fantastic. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> you do this interview. Cool. Thank you so cool. much, Chris. Thanks a lot. We appreciate yeah. you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>